Hey guys and girls, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, Sean here, and today I'm going to film the songs that I'm currently learning. So, as of right now, I'm one month into my learning journey with the guitar, and there are three, well, four, four songs actually in particular, I could say five actually, I could say five songs, there's five songs in particular that I'm focusing on, um, that are sort of working different things for me. If you're around one month or so, I find that this is a good series of songs because it'll hit different points. It'll hit your speed, your accuracy in different ways. Plus you're learning songs as you go, which is always great. Uh, it makes it way more fun. This is for anyone who maybe uh, you're sort of interested to see what I'm doing in terms of songs that I'm playing. I'm just going to play through them and yeah, and hopefully you enjoy. And this is something else that I can look back on in you know many years to come. and and see how I've progressed from the songs I'm playing right now like this where I am struggling with chord changes, I am struggling with strumming, I am uh, struggling with the beat and keeping in the rhythm. These are great for that because these songs challenge me in without being over challenging. I can, I can reduce the, the beats per minute and um, or I can increase it depending on what I want to work on. Yes, yeah, so I'll just run through them. So the first one is Three Little Birds by Bob Marley where I'm at the moment playing it with a, a strumming pattern that goes a little like this. It's still basic and simple. So that's a strumming pattern that I'm working with pretty much at the moment. I've got a bit of up strumming for the first time in my practice. And I've incorporated it, I've incorporated it into a few of these songs. I'm just going to play and you can just listen. So we'll just get going with this. Okay, so that's a great song because it's given me the opportunity to practice that, that strumming pattern that's a bit different to the monotonous down, 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 and it's 74 beats per minute. Great song for learning. My chord changes there, they're, they're, they're sort of quite gentle. Of course, I'm missing, I'm missing a few beats, I'm misstroking a few strums, but um, generally that's, that's great for, for what I'm trying to achieve there with improving my chord changes. At a tempo that I think I can stick with for the time being. A 74 beat per minute song, so, so it's great for that. Okay, so the next song is Common People. Now, it's actually 130 beats per minute, but I have to play it at 75% of the speed, so probably just under 100 beats per minute with this um, because it's so fast. A bit too fast for my skill level right now, but we're going to give it a go at 100 beats per minute. See how we get on. Similar strum pattern, I think. Sometimes I, I just go by how I'm feeling at the time during the song, whether I'm just going to revert to a standard down, down, down. If I feel like I can ch challenge myself and continue with a few up strums, then I will. So we'll see how it goes.
Okay, so I'll start that there because it goes on for quite a while, that song. What I find this is great with is because the beats stick on the chord for a bit longer, I'm sort of getting four, five, six beats, uh, so, uh, bar, sorry, sometimes before I, I have to switch to another chord. I find that's great because it's given me the chance to sort of change into the chord and because the bars are running for quite a while, I can, you know, if I've got to make little adjustments, I can, and hopefully over time I'll be making slightly less and less and less and less adjustments with following the chord change. So I find that's great for that. It's also great for trying to keep the rhythm steady, strumming, brilliant. Brilliant, really enjoy playing through that song. Okay, now this next one is Down on the Corner. Now I play this at full speed. Um, but there's sort of two chord change, quite often there's two chord changes in one bar and I'm not quite at the level of being able to strum well, you know, a good strumming pattern while changing so often, you know, sometimes it's literally A to E within one bar and you throw in a few Ds and so what I do with this is a bit of a game. I sort of just try to strum pretty much on on the chord change because they're so, you know, they're so frequent or, or sort of like on the first beat and the third beat and I'll just call out the chord and this is great for you know my chord changes <laughs> obviously it's great for that because it's so frequent running through the song I'm just gonna see how I get on I mean it's a bit of a game I might completely mash this up sometimes I do so it starts on the A and these are the three I mean these are the only three chords I know right now and the D to A uh, the D to E sorry is my biggest gripe D to A, got that nailed down pretty well, I think. Anything with an E, basically. So, let's see what we get on. A, A, D, A, D, D, A, 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 D, A, 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 D, A, 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 E. So that's great for chord change practice. Makes it enjoyable. I think I'll run that through for another week every day and then maybe I'll look at strumming pattern added to that. So yeah, so that's it pretty much. And then the songs that I'm working through as well as just some little ditties or just because the D to the A to the E to the E to the D to the A to the vice versa. Um, I'm sort of doing a lot of the trog stuff, so. I'm just playing through those three chords basically over and over to the trucks. If I try to play it fast, I'll sort of butter it up so I can slow it down. You know, so basically doing that. Chasing cars, the snow patrol. Now this is with a fast strum, so. pretty much it from the song point of view. Just going around in circles with that, so. I hope that helped, I'm one month in, so these are the songs that I'm practicing after four weeks of guitar practicing. And um, I think, coming up now, I have a couple of new E minor, A minor, I think D minor. I'll be learning those chords in the coming weeks. So I'll be adding those and maybe I'll have new songs to add. Um, yeah, but I'll still be plowing away with these songs as well, trying to improve them, trying to get to the point where I can play them well. Um, so yeah, so, so say subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what songs you're practicing, what chords you know, 
um, because I'm going to be looking for songs as I'm learning new chords. So if you guys can help me out and point me in the direction of a few songs that you enjoy playing, that you let me know why why you enjoy playing them, what they're helping you with, which aspects of, of your practice are they helping with, um, what are you struggling with. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll sort of butter it up so I can slow it down.